I spent days investigating, trying to figure out who was responsible for these mysterious, terrifying spots throughout my home, only to realize it was me all along. So after mourning the fact that I'm the problem, I selected one room to start in and gave myself 25 minutes to get as much done as possible. The whole concept of the timer is honestly just a little trick that I use to get myself to actually start because that's the hardest part for me. Once I get going, I don't usually feel the need to stop. Like if the timer goes off, I just kind of keep rocking and ride that wave of inspired productivity. But unfortunately, that wave does not wave on its own. The other thing that tends to kind of stunt my desire to get started is I often feel overwhelmed with where to start. Um, so I find that picking one location or one room or even a section of a room to get started, it can feel so much less overwhelming and maybe even make you excited to, to complete that one task because if you're anything like me once you get started on one task it's actually like alarming the other way and i kind of hyper fixate and have to achieve every single thing that i set out to do i'm just like kind of all or nothing so um lean into that if that's how you are as well and uh start with one thing and then just embrace the fact that you're probably going to also do another million things it's actually so funny to me how daunting this stuff feels like you put it off and put it off and put it off and then you feel like an entirely new person the second that you do it and also it never takes as long as you think it's going to but it's just that initial like momentum to get yourself going that's rough but once I was in the mode to clean I was of course all in and I just kept taking little sections of the room and like deep cleaning and doing things that I probably should be doing a little more regularly, but you know, that's life. I was able to do quite a bit of reorganizing as well. I finally did my last cube unit here and put all of these books in because it was just kind of irritating me that I had three shelves with cubes and then only one without them and i know they had books and whatever but it was kind of driving me nuts so i finally got the fourth cubes for so that it's just all cubes now but and i also cleaned off that whole upper shelf and took all of that stuff out to the garage and actually decluttered some of that as well so i got rid of some of it and then just relocated some of it after that, I faced the stairs, and this, I'm not sure what goes on in this stairwell other than the fact that it's like a vortex for cat hair. The amount of cat hair I find here is alarming. So I went through with a cloth and a vacuum, and then also took the cloth and scrubbed down the cat tree and got basically a whole new cat out of it. The kitchen is just kind of perpetually scary. I feel like this is probably the most unending area of the household. I mean, laundry's pretty bad too, but these dishes just materialize unlike anything I've ever seen. We also don't have a dishwasher, and I've always had dishwashers at the other places that I've lived, and you know, I took them for granted. I really did. It is so much harder when you don't have a dishwasher. <laughs> I think the biggest thing with dishes is trying really hard to wash them as you go, which I am just not good at. I love to procrastinate with things like this especially, so, but that always ends up coming back to bite me. Like, when you just feel extremely overwhelmed and have to spend basically six hours of your weekend to recover from everything you didn't want to do all week, but it's baby steps, you know? We're all just trying our best out here. We officially made it through the final countdown of dishes, though, and are left with nothing but beautiful, stunning, clean counters.
Once the dishes were done, I was able to clean up our little shoe area and get to vacuuming. So, the rest of this is pretty much all actually clean clothes um, that I just haven't wanted to put away. So I just didn't want to. Well, like this is dirty, but most of them are clean. So I'm gonna fold these, put them away in the closet, and feel better about myself. <laughs> I almost stopped here because I changed and was gonna get ready to go golfing, but I used my last few minutes while I was waiting to leave and I actually did get this totally done and I was really proud of myself because I really thought about leaving that basket of folded clothes there. I was already proud of myself for doing anything with it, so I'm really proud of myself for actually finishing it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for cleaning with me. My name is Leah, and if you're interested in more content, hit that subscribe button.